Hi everyone, uh, been a long time since my last video, it was, gosh, Cheltenham Festival this year, uh, where we uh, racked up a lot of places and didn't have as many winners as I wanted this year, but you know, these things happen, anyway we're back here today uh, with, uh, I've had an uh, email of somebody actually, or a note uh, basically saying, what do you think are going to be some forces, some obvious ones, some not so obvious ones? Um, to look out for this national hunt season, bear in mind we're about to get there. So, uh, I'm bored on a Saturday night, which is pretty terrible really, but I thought, you know, let's see, uh, I've had a look through what I had my notes on for last year, and these are the horses that I think uh, could be worth keeping an eye on. Um, first up, one I really loved last season, um, I presume he's going to stay over hurdles, I would hope so anyway, not go over fences yet, and that is a horse called Beat That for Nicky Henderson. Um, he's, this horse is, I think he's something really out the top draw here to be honest with you. Um, he came back from a layoff uh, and he won dead easy at Ascot um, and then from there he went to Sandown um, and he came second but made a really really big mistake. He then deliberately didn't go to Cheltenham and went back to, I think it was Aintree uh, and won dead easily and then went again to Punchestown and went, ag he went in again. I think he's the type who's going to get a bit better this year, even with a bit more, um, a bit more experience under his belt. So I hope he sticks over hurdles. Nicky Henderson does have this habit sometimes of launching him over fences really quick. Um, but if he stays over hurdles, I think he could be a very, very good one this year and definitely one to keep on the right side of. Um, another one I do like, who is a bit of an outsider. Well, not an outsider, he's just not as well known, but he's been making hay actually over the summer jumps, and I just don't know what the plan's going to be with him. And that is a horse called Shield. Uh, he was on the, he used to run on the flat for Aidan O'Brien, um, in the quite famous colours on the flat now. You see him on the or whether at Dundalk, the uh, orange with the blue lines through it. But since bought by JP McManus and gone over hurdles, and he's won a couple of decent races, and he w operates over trips of two mile to two mile seven. I think he needs good ground, so I don't know if they're gonna go winter hurdling with him or if they're gonna make do a couple more races and then rough him off till there's um, you know the better ground next March. I don't know. But I like I like this horse a lot. He's, he shows me a lot. He's got he's got he's got a good turn of foot. He gets held up. Last time out, he came third in a five horse race, which may sound bad, but he got a poor ride. Barry Garrity was on the winner, one of the outsiders, and he just rode him to sleep in the front, quickened it up, and his jockey didn't uh, pick it up on that day. So it's one for the notebook, I think. Um, Shield. Um, I, I just but as I said, I would like to be able to say right. This is what I think the plan's going to be, but I just don't know. Um, if he'll end up coming out over the winter or if he'll be kept off for next summer. Um, another one which you would have heard of is Boulder Success for Alan King. He's really, really come, he come into his own since he's gone over fences. Um, he does like the smaller fields. Uh, he skipped Cheltenham to go to Aintree and that was a great move because he bounced off the good ground um, and basically uh, won as he liked at Aintree. He was a sh a sh got a bit of a shock reversal at Punchestown later on in that month. Um, but I think, you know, when you look at it, he's quite a young horse, another summer on his back. Um, I just think he could turn into a live outsider for something like the champion chase though he, don't be surprised if he goes oh, for the juice and, nov uh, the juice and novice because I just got a feeling he's got a bit more of a stay in pedigree about him or a stay it's got more of a stay like line up to him and the way he jumps and everything than a two miler but uh, Boulder success he's, as I said he wants it he doesn't jump out and you hit you between the eyes and go this is the horse you want to be doing but basically I think he's got um, a decent chance um, another horse that I do like, and but it's once again, it all depends on what the actual plan is is going to be with this horse, and that is a horse for um, um, Martin Keithley, sorry, called Anecdoty. He's, the reason he's an interesting one for me is he goes very, very well around Cheltenham. He seems to really like it around there, and while he he's a, he seems a good stay in pedigree, but you know it, for that reason he doesn't seem to perform that well. He does on occasions, but he keeps his best for Cheltenham. So the reason I mention it is some early season handicaps at Cheltenham. I think he's the type of horse that you could really 
like you know, you, we could end up getting a big price on this horse, and I think that would be really good if we could. So I think that's one to definitely keep uh, on the right side of. But as I said, I really don't know what the plan's going to be for this horse because uh, he's one of those. I think he could be quite high in a handicap. I think he's just shy of the like the top class in the better races. But Anecdoty could be a horse to go onto that list along with beat that uh, Shield and Boulder Success because um, yeah it's one of those things you've got to look for the value I suppose when you come into these type of fields uh, and that is one uh, who could give us that throughout the season another horse which you may think I don't actually understand at all um, why you would think this is going to do anything this season um, but I've still got a good feeling about it and that is a horse that is trained by sorry I'm just looking at my notes here you can probably gather this where to keep looking up yeah it's a horse that is trained by Donald McCain uh, and it's called Clondor Kempfer he's got he had the world at his feet but last year something was just not clicking with him and I don't know what the hell it was and it was so annoying on times because I was virtually counting my money and then it wasn't happening from what I've gathered of various people and different sources he's had a wind operation this summer and I think he's going to go over fences and I think that could be the making of him um, I think he's needed both and he's another he could be right at the top draw I think the reason I think they're going to go over fences is they've pulled or they pulled or call time with Peddler's Cross which is a sad day though he's never recovered from that uh, champion hurdle a few years ago in my opinion he's not been the same horse since so I think they'll look for another top class uh, novice chaser really uh, so I think Clondor Kempfer while it could be worth watching his first run because you just don't know what he's going to do again I think in the long run he could be a uh, decent value for money so if people are saying a mixture of what are the five to look out for at this stage uh, we've got Beat That, we've got Shield, we've got Boulder Success, Anecdoty and of course Clondor Kempfer as well um, as I said it's all very early doors I'm starting to read some stable reviews etc and watch some bits and bobs so uh, I may have another one of these videos coming up with some uh, different horses uh, to keep an eye out on closer to the start of the season but for now uh, I would put these in your diary okay thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye